As Maura said there, my name is Trina Kavna and I'm a Health Informatics Specialist for HCI. Um, my primary role within HCI is to implement keepbooks within healthcare organisations and then post-implementation would, uh, would include individual user support, technical support and any escalations that might occur and then continuous training on site and uh, via the web and continuous education as well. Uh, today I'm going to be concentrating on the QPulse app. So this is a multi-platform application that goes across four different modules. So what are the functions of the QPulse application? So as I said, it's across four modules. So we have the audit module, the quality improvement plan module, documents, and the incident reporting module. It is an application on your mobile device and it can be downloaded from the App Store and from Google Play onto an iOS device and also um, Android devices. So you can use it on your iPad and on your Surface Pro. The whole point of the application is that you have it on your mobile device and you can walk around with it um, and it makes it a lot more user friendly and accessible to people. So the functions vary from module to module. As you can see from the screen here, there um, are a lot more functions for the audits than QIPs, um, less so for the documents and reporting, but I will work through each one of those. Okay, so for the audits and QIPs, it performs audits through iOS and Android devices, uh, allows for portability and increased flexibility for the auditor, so they can walk around and actually do their audit uh, live and on their device. Aims to reduce paper-based auditing tools and enhance, uses enhanced features to support audit findings. This is, for example, taking a picture of a non-compliant uh, and linking that to our audit so that we can use that for uh, supporting the audit findings and non-conformances. It also uses customizable checklists for each required audit. So the, uh, the checklists are built within QPost and I'll go through that in the next few slides. And the checklists are very important, obviously, because as you're walking around, you're checking them off on your device. It permits instant non-conformance reporting. So as you find a non-conformance and you want to raise a QIP against a particular question, you can raise that non-conformance uh, straight away on the device. And then it can work offline and you can view the audits offline also. You do need to be in a Wi-Fi area to upload it onto the, onto the device, uh, but you can work with it offline and you can walk around your organization um, completing the audit. Okay, for the documents module, you can download and view documents on the application. You can search for any document which is within your active register on QPulse. Um, acknowledgement of documents is a very um, handy tool to be able to go in and just see the documents that you have to acknowledge. And then you'll be asked to electronically sign that you have read and you've acknowledged and understand that document. You can view documents offline once they have been downloaded. Uh, so any of those access recently viewed documents, you can put them into specific search folders and you can view any of those documents offline. So you can have them on your mobile device at any time. And for the instant management uh, reporting, you can complete instant management forms on your mobile device. You can start it, save it and return to it. So in, that means that you can start it completed and if you're distracted by something you can save it and then you can return later and complete it from there and upload it onto QPulse. Okay, so for today as I said the functionality is mostly for the audits module so I'm going to concentrate on uh, creating an audit and then um, completing that audit on the application. So we can see here on our launchpad, we have a number of different modules and we're going to click on the audit application. This will move to our audit record, uh, which gives us a lot more information about the audit. But along the bottom here, we see that we have an audit wizard. This would be the main way we would set up an audit. Is wizards can be built within QPlus and they will just help the user to put in all of the standard and essential information that you would need to create the audit record at the end. So the first box here, we have our welcome page, the audit wizard. Then we have our audit schedule. So we can uh, set up our audits for 
um, as often as we want to. We can do a single audit. We can do a series of reoccurring, reoccurring audits if you wanted the audit to be done monthly, or you can just do one audit. If you want it to be done in June every year, you can set that up. Then we're putting in our key participants. So we put in our audit, auditor and our audit team. And then we add our checklist. As I said before, the checklists are very important when you're using the mobile device um, and you set them up in QPOS. So building an audit checklist. So we are putting in our checklist title and description. Um, and then we're adding questions to our question bank. All of our paper questions will be added into the question bank. And as we go along, we can also add in additional questions if we need to. And we can take out questions that maybe aren't relevant to the audit that we're completing on that particular day. We can also decide on our non-conformance scoring. So in this case, I've said that if something is compliant, we're saying that it's one. So if the question is compliant, uh, it's getting a score of one. And if it's not compliant, it's getting a score of zero. So if we have 10 questions in our audit and one of them is not compliant, we have a 90% compliance rate. That's how it is worked out. And we can also predefine our, pre our responses. So we can say that something is non-compliant or compliant, or we can say that we agree or disagree. That is dependent on preferences. Okay, so I'm just gonna move over to Team Viewer and I'm gonna show you what this looks like on the application. So this would be creating and downloading an audit and completing our checklist to show you what that looks like. I'll also add an attachment, show you how you can email the report to yourself and upload the coupons, um, upload the audit to coupons. I'm also going to go through how to acknowledge a document and have a look at our instant reporting um, form also. Okay. So I just want to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it. Okay, so this is the home page of the QPOS application. So we can see that we have our task. So I have a document to acknowledge there. It's ready and waiting for me. Uh, my recently viewed document there as well that I had a look at. And if I click over into my menu bar, you can see that I have my reporting, where my reporting forms are, I have my documents that I can view and acknowledge my documents, I have my audit, then I have my sync button, which allows me to sync up any audits that I have um, that they'll display on my tablet. So I'm just going to click into the audit. Okay, and I have my audit ready and waiting there for me. Okay, so I'm going to download my audit, which will allow me to complete it. And all of this information that we have, that we can see here, has, is coming straight from our audit application uh, within QPulse and our audit record. Okay, and now I will perform the audit. Okay, so again, this is all information from our audit record. So we have our actual start date and our actual end date. So I'm putting in my start date and my start time. I put in my scope when I was um, setting up the audit on the wizard. I have my auditor um, and auditee. I have my checklist there, so I have my QPulse user form checklist, which I'm going to complete. My findings are my non conformances against this audit. And then further down, I can add a signature, my own signature, and any attachments that I want to put in. So that's the enhanced features that I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to move into my checklist, and I have three questions here. So I'm walking around with this and I don't need to be standing at my desk. I can complete the audit um, in a more accessible fashion. So uh, my first question, I'm going to say that it is compliant. Okay. So I'm changing my actual score to one. And then moving on to the next question. This one, I'm going to say it's not compliant. And my actual store will say it's zero, and then I can add in my findings. So we can see down here at the bottom of the page, we have our findings. So it's not compliant. So I'm now raising a non-conformance against that audit. So I'm saying it's an internal audit, the status is open, it's raised by 
and I put in my own name here. Uh, rate by customer contact, so that's not relevant because I am a person working within the organization. I put in my details here, so what is, why is this not compliant? My raise date, which is today. The owner, so I'm going to select myself as the owner. I can also add other people as owners, and then this will be actioned out to that person, and they will get an email notification to tell them that there is a non-conformance waiting for them to um, deal with. Then we have our target date, so if we want this to be completed within a week, we can select that. Our raised against would be the raised against a department or a supplier, our severity, any keywords that we want, and then we can complete all of the information further down. Okay, so once we're done, we're going to be clicking done, and we've raised our non-conformance. Okay, so moving on to the next question, I'm going to say that this one is compliant, and I'm going to add in an attachment. So you can see here at the bottom, we have an attachment section. So I can click on anything I want and attach that. Okay, so now I have completed it. So we can see that the checklist now is three out of three questions have been completed. So once we're finished, we can add in our audit summary and then we can email this report to ourselves if we want to. So we'll just click on that and put in our email address and it will email straight to us. To upload the audit back onto Qpost, you will need to be in a Wi-Fi area. So if I upload it again, it's uploaded, and then I'm able to deal with the, the audit from there. So I can now go on to Qpost and it will allow me to manage the audit uh, further if I need to and close off those actions that have been um, actioned out to different people. Okay, so I'm just going to show you also the documents. So we had a document to acknowledge there to start, but this is showing you how to actually search the documents within the Keepos app. So all the documents will load up, and as I said before, these are documents that have been that are in the active register within Qpost. So we just click on them to download them, and then we view the document. So you can set up search folders for any uh, documents that you would view quite often, and you could have them there on your mobile device, so on your phone or on your tablet as you need them. To acknowledge a document, as I said, you sign into this using your Qpost and username and password. We just click on acknowledge, and then we're adding in again our Qpost username and password, and we're clicking Acknowledge. And that will register as well on the Qpost application um, in the Documents module. And then we have our reporting forms. So we can set these forms up. These come from Qpost again, and if you click into them, you can just um, click on your incident reporting and fill it out as you go. Okay, 